Hi and welcome to this uh, on shape tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a sweep okay, using a curved spline or guide as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. So what we've got on screen are a number of different tabs as normal and what you can see on the screen at the moment is a tab which has got the overview of the different challenges and if you click on the YouTube, okay, icons or symbols that will go to this tutorial and the other tutorials in this series. So, what we've also got this time is we've got a tab called Tutorial, and this has got some sketches in there already to use, and we've also got this model in here to reference. And you'll see here it's actually got two, okay, parts in here because we're going to talk about the limitations of the sweep in on shape to create complex geometry and there are limitations as you'll see so what we're going to do we're going to create okay in the tutorial we've got a path at the front okay or sorry a profile at the front should i say okay which is a circle like that we've then got two guides on either side okay and really what i wanted to do with this is i wanted this circle okay to follow both of these okay guides or paths Okay, and create a very complex sort of curvy design. So if you were doing something like a bit like a handlebar or something like that, or something to grip, okay, you could use this technique. However, there are limitations. Okay, so if we go up to sweep, what I'm going to do is a solid, and I'm going to click new because this is our first feature within this part. The faces is going to be this profile here. And if I click on sweep path, if I click this one here, okay, you'll see after a few seconds it'll generate. And what I'm going to do is, it's obviously got an error here. We need to tick this option here, keep profile. And if we click top, you can see what's happened here is it's taken that circle, okay, and it's gone up to this edge here, and it's followed that. But what it's done, it's pulled the geometry okay across and it's sort of mirroring okay all right that profile on both sides now i don't want it really okay to do that what i'd like it to do is to also follow the other path so if i click on paths here and select the other one it comes up with an error because in on shape unfortunately you can't use within a sweep and this is important within a sweep you can't use multiple okay guides or paths which is a little bit Okay, disappointing. There is a bit of a workaround, and as you can see here, this time what I've done, okay, is chosen that profile at the front, and again I've swept it this time on that one there. So it depends on, okay, why what you wanted to achieve. Okay, really I wanted to use both. Okay, but it's created that one there. Okay, now I'm just going to rename that, and I'm going to call that sweep. And I'm going to give that, okay, the materials, normal. So I'm going to type in ABS, okay, A and BS, and choose the top option. So that's the sweep. So, yeah, if I wanted to achieve, okay, the shape I, I wanted to at the start by using both, okay, of those, okay, profiles or paths, I'd have to actually use okay in on shape or loft instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide that, and I'm going to show this one here. So what I've done now is I've created an offset plane. So if we turn on the planes here, like the front one, so that's where the original sketch is. I've then used that okay, gone up to plane and created an offset one, okay, which is here as you can see. I then created a circle at the back. And what I'm going to do now, if I turn those off, okay, is I'm going to create a loft between those two. All right, so I know this is a sweep, okay, tutorial, but you'll see there's obviously limitations there. And if you wanted to use two, okay, guides or paths, you're going to have to create, okay, a loft instead. So if we go to loft, and again, we go new solid, and we're going to select that profile there to start with and we want it to go to that profile and as you can see it's going to basically create a tube we can now use these guides 
Okay, and we can select that one. And as you can see, it pulls the shape towards that side. So we've got exactly the same okay, shape as the sweep beforehand. But this time I can actually add an additional okay, guide here. And that will actually pull that side in as I wanted okay, from the sweep. And again, you do have some other conditions here. We're not going to go into too much of that okay, in this tutorial. We'll do that in the lofts, but as you see, I can save that now. And what I've got is what I intended to with the sweep, okay? So that's just to show you, if you do want to create, okay, and I just hide that one, show that one. Okay, you can sweep along a spine, so a curve, and it will follow that, okay? However, uh, there are limitations because you cannot, okay, choose two okay guides or two paths within a sweep okay if you check my other videos okay on using the fusion 360 you can do that within a sweep okay so there are limitations in on shape so as you can see i've had to okay instead create all right a loft to achieve that so that's how you can create okay a sweep okay using Right, a curve or basically a simple spline to achieve you know a complex shape but there are okay limitations as I've mentioned thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description I'll see you on the next one